Hello, I'm Dr. Nisikowski. Hi, I'm Jackie. And so we're continuing our games that are used to teach math skills. Now these games are better than worksheets, uh, and uh, but not as good as some authentic games that we'll be showing later on. But the reason why uh, I'm showing these 10 is I used these 10 when I used to teach elementary school and when I did enrichment. And Jackie has two children that wanted to develop mm -hmm. uh, some math skills. So this is Buy It Right. And it's another, another uh, money uh, game. So the object of the game is, is that you have your characters here and it can play up to four players. So you're going to start here. And we roll the dice and when we land, we're going to buy items. And the, you can play a shorter game where you only have to get one of each color. A longer game, you have to get two of each color. You start with $25. Now why is this here? It's because when you roll the dice to calculate the price, uh, you might be buying one, two, or three items. If you're buying two or three items, you might, you're might you going to want to write it down in case you forget. Because when you're buying things, you can decide whether or not you want to uh, buy it. Okay. Because you might not have enough money. Okay. And so uh, Jackie also starts out with her shopping cart and $25. And then you see here, it's a nice thing. Again, it has nice manipulatives. Children don't always get a chance to uh, touch real money, but they can mm -hmm. simulate it here, especially since we're using more digital currency now. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's, a, there's actually a version of this that you can play with just uh, bills only for younger players. So, or you can play with coins only version. But this is the, the regular version and it's for, for children that can handle one cent to $30. And so when you do roll the dice to buy something, uh, the strategy is for a young person is that they're going to want to make it as low cost as a little as possible. So they'd make it a dollar 26. Mm -hmm. Okay. Obviously you don't want to make it $6 and 21 cents. So let's start. Here is, uh, on the, on the orange person, you can see it matches the shopping cart and here oh, yeah. it is, and you are the green person. Okay. Uh, and so, uh, each space can do different things. Like you can find money and buy so many items. Usually you would roll to see who goes first, but to save time, I'll just go first. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Give a gift to a friend. So the way this works is, is that I don't have anything to give to Jackie. So I believe I have to buy something. Yep, I have to buy something from the pile. So I just turn it over. Now I won't need to use a calculator. By the way, this is a solar calculator, which is nice. You don't have to worry about batteries. So I'm going to give you that skateboard. So I roll the dice and unfortunately I rolled high. So I'm going to mm -hmm. have to do 465. Uh, I'm going to make it that cost is, oh, actually 456 would be better, wouldn't it? Yeah. And I put it right here. Okay. And then I'm going to, obviously you can do a variation where you have children write it down and calculate it. Uh -huh. But with, if that's too much stress, I'm going to put in $5 minus 456 and then uh oops what did i do wrong because i didn't <laughs> i didn't put it in right i gotta do 5.00 uh -huh. it's been a while since i've used a calculator <laughs> 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 I had to put that, so i get 44 cents back in change so i put it right here and then this teaches uh how to get change right yeah so i could do you know you could try to teach children to do the quarter and then the nickel mm -hmm. and the dime, which they would want to learn how to do if they had to work a cash register, right? So I had to buy that for you. So now you have uh, one of the uh, white items that you need to buy that you put right there. Okay. So now Jackie's going to go. So I got to give you the dice. Okay, five. five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so two for, two one. for one. So the good thing is you're going to flip over two tokens. Okay. And you're going to roll the dice. So you're going to get a yellow and a green. So now you're going to make that as small as possible on your board there. So 336. Right, and so you'll be able to use the calculator okay. to uh, you know, use the $5 bill if you want. So a dollar sixty four would be the change. Right, and this is where you can get. This is where maybe the older child that you're playing with might be the banker. Okay. Uh, so fifty, sixty. Well, how much dollar sixty four? Sixty four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So again, this is 
fun. Uh, some teachers, for instance, I did do a store when I taught. Uh, students really like having a, a, a school store where you when you do a, yeah. a, a consumer unit. This is kind of like that. Uh, all right, so we're going to do one more round here. So then I would keep these now. Yeah, two for these. one. So if you were playing the shorter game, uh, you only need a purple, a purple one to win. Okay. Okay, if you were playing the shorter, you know. Okay. All right, so I roll. So three, one, two, three. ATM. So that one, let me look it up again what that does. Roll the number dice and arrange them on the bottom of your shopping cart and to find out how much money you collect from the register. So it's basically getting money. Okay. So then now you would do the highest. Yeah, I would want to do the yeah. highest. That's right. And four thirty two, so then I would get four dollars. Now, if I really wanted to count up, I could try to do that, but I won't, you know, try to make Yeah. Two Four thirty-two. Okay, so again, some good math skills here. Of you know, twenty-five plus five plus two is thirty-two. Yeah. All right, so you have one more. We'll just do one more turn here. So go ahead and roll. One. Okay, so, so you give, give a, a gift. gift. Let's try to do something else here. Let's do buy up to two items. So up to means that. After you roll, mm -hmm. you're going to roll for each item. You're going to decide if you want to buy one, two, or nothing. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and roll the so dice. So I would roll before I choose. Uh, well, actually, yeah, we'll flip it up. That's okay. true. That's true because you might not get a color you need. But if we're playing where you need two of each, then I can use This is those. perfect for you. Okay. Okay. But let's say a purple came up and we're only playing. Where's the purple? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, so let's say uh, you drew a purple, right? And you yeah. only need one more purple. So obviously, you're not going to want to buy the shoes because you only need the purple to win. Okay. So go ahead and roll. Roll. All three? Yeah, all three. And so, uh, yeah, go ahead and move the dice. So uh, why do we have this piece of paper here? Uh, one player will write down that a uh, dollar twenty-three. Dollar twenty-three. What would be the purple item? Go ahead and roll uh, again for the white item. Oh gosh, five fifty-four. Okay. Or do you want to do four fifty-five? Oh right, 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 right. That's right. okay. So I'm writing it down. And again, why are we why are we writing this down? Is because when she she puts it in the calculator and she forgets what she rolled you have it written down as a backup in case you forget. Okay. So she only needs the purple item to win if her plane just getting a row, mm -hmm. a row, a row. Uh, she doesn't have to buy the other item for 455. And if she didn't have the, enough money, if you didn't have enough money, then you couldn't buy anything. Right. And what would happen eventually is that you'll get more money when you go around the board. So you'll get $10 when you pass this, this space. Okay. So that's pretty much uh, other than uh, you'll buy an item for a friend. So what would happen with that is I would, do I get to choose? Let's take a look again here. Mm -hmm. Do I get to choose what I want to slow you down? Yeah, so I would choose. Okay. So let's say we're in a situation where you needed, uh, where's that purple? Let's say you're in a situation you needed a purple to win, right? Well, mm -hmm. I could slow you down by saying, I want this one. Or make it really hard and just take the purple the one. The purple one, yeah. And then you would roll the dice, and then you would arrange it in a way where I would have to pay the most for it. Okay. So that's how that would work. So that's the only other. And then there's a lose money space so right here. But again, you can arrange it in a way so that you lose as least as possible. Okay. So what do you think? I actually really like this one. Yeah. yeah, I think now they played the cool cash bingo. Would they yes. like this more than the cool cash bingo? Maybe? I think so because yeah. it's more interacting. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. And it simulates yeah. what kids all want to do. They all they want to be responsible with their own money someday, mm -hmm. and they enjoy getting allowance and buying things. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. All right. So that's buy it right. I'm David. I'm Jackie. All right, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.